Hey, you know, I am I am starting to think that when Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene apologized for comparing things to the Holocaust, it may not have been a completely sincere apology because she is yet again saying that things Joe Biden is doing are like the Nazis. Um, the uh, Business Insider is reporting Marjorie Taylor Greene compares Biden's vaccine push to Nazis weeks after apologizing for comparing mask mandates to the Holocaust. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene compared Biden's vaccination push to the Nazi brown shirts. This came weeks after she apologized for comparing other covid-19 guidelines to the Nazis. That was when she said Nancy Pelosi saying you have to wear masks on the House floor uh, is uh, is is, I guess, like, you know, how the Jews were treated by Nazis. Green has a history of promoting anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Let's uh, take a look at the tweet she sent out where she uh, responded to Joe Biden saying we've got to go community to community. We've got to go neighborhood by neighborhood. We've got to go door to door and just say, hey, do you want to get vaccinated? Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeting Biden pushing a vaccine that's not FDA approved shows covid is a political tool used to control people. People have a choice. They don't need your medical brown shirts showing up at their door ordering vaccinations. Of course, nobody would be ordering it. They would just be making it really, really easy to get one. Hey, we're here. Do you want a vaccine? Here you go. You can't force people to be part of the human experiment. And even that is sort of alluding to Nazi medical experiments. Um, Come on, guys, come on. And if you have forgotten or didn't see it, this is Marjorie Taylor Greene just a few weeks ago, realizing that the Holocaust was really bad and she was wrong to compare Nancy Pelosi to the Holocaust. OK, uh, take a look at that. I always want to remind everyone I'm very much a normal person and I think it's important for me to always be transparent and, and honest. And I just want to tell you all, I'm, I'm really, really lucky. Uh, I was blessed with, I am blessed with amazing parents. And my dad just passed away in April. But I will say he taught me some great things. And one of the best lessons that my father always taught me was when you make a mistake, you should own it. And I have made a mistake and it's really bothered me for a couple of weeks now. So I definitely want to own it. This afternoon, I visited the Holocaust Museum. The Holocaust is, there's nothing comparable to it. It's, it's, it happened and, you know, over 6 million Jewish people were murdered. More than that, there were not just Jewish people, black people, Christians, all kinds of children, people that, that the Nazis didn't believe were good enough or perfect enough. And the horrors of the Holocaust are something that some people don't even believe happened. And some people deny, but there is no comparison to the Holocaust. And there are words that I have said, remarks that I've made that I know are offensive. And for that, I want to apologize. And I am, I am just fine and very glad to be able to come out here and do that because I believe it's important. I believe that if we're going to lead, we need to be able to lead in a way where if we've messed up, it's very important for us to say we're sorry. So, you, you know, that uh, clearly her apology was insincere. Clearly, this is a very, very sick woman. Clearly, this is someone who just can't get away from these comparisons to Nazis and the Holocaust and all of this stuff. But there is sort of an interesting conflict here because Marjorie Taylor Greene is a massive Trump suck up. I mean, absolutely one of the biggest, but she's constantly doing anti vax stuff. But remember, Trump said not that long ago, quote, it's a great vaccine. It's a safe vaccine. And it's something that works. I recommend it to a lot of people that don't want to get it. And a lot of those people voted for me. That was Trump saying that even recognizing that there's lots of anti-vax among his supporters. 
What would Marjorie Taylor Greene, a massive and uh, bottomless Trump suck up, say about the fact that her leader, Donald Trump, is saying, hey, even the people who follow me and don't want it, they should go ahead and get it. And they're just continuing to push this type of thing. Here is Charlie Kirk, who's sort of like a young, young Republican group leader, this uh, group uh, called Turning Point USA. Charlie Kirk just compared vaccination guidelines to apartheid. But more than anything else, Tucker, what we are going to do is a massive public relations campaign and make sure students know they are not alone. They don't have to hide in the shadows. That's All right. of a sudden they're concerned that if they get the vaccine, they're going to be treated as if there's there's something that, that I said this earlier. And this is a big statement, but it's almost this apartheid style open air hostage situation like, oh, you can have your freedom back if you get the jab. This is unacceptable. We're going to fight back against it. Yeah. So again, you know, they they just can't get away from this stuff. What's interesting about the Charlie Kirk thing is that I have been warning not as something that we want to divide people, but as something that is simply going to happen. If you continue seeing such vaccination rate gaps between Democrats and Republicans, between liberals and conservatives, between Biden voters and Trump voters, this is going to turn into a Republican pandemic. Now, of course, because the vi the the uh, vaccine is not 100 percent effective, even if every Democrat got vaccinated and very few Republicans did, some Democrats are still going to get sick. You only have 92 percent protection, maybe even slightly lower against the Delta variant. We still don't know the level of protection against the Lambda variant. But there is no doubt that that vaccination gap is going to start infecting more and more Republicans than it is Democrats if it's the Republicans who overwhelmingly are refusing to go and get themselves vaccinated. So sort of inadvertently stumbling Charlie Kirk did across a mathematical reality that if the Republicans are the ones who are not protected, they are the ones who are overwhelmingly going to get sick and they are overwhelmingly the ones who are going to die. Was Marjorie Taylor Greene's apology sincere? Let me know. You can find me on Twitter at D Pacman. I think the answer is obviously no. I think it got to the point where even for her level of tolerating being critiqued uh, and criticized, she realized I should probably apologize for this. But then within days, really going right back to the same analogies and allusions to Nazis and the Holocaust and Hitler, just disgusting, completely disgusting stuff. Uh, let's take a quick break. We've got a packed show for you. Uh, we'll be right back. One of our sponsors today is Helix Sleep, and it's a sponsor I'm thrilled about because I sleep on a Helix mattress at home and it's just the perfect mattress. One of the best things about Helix is you don't have to guess which mattress do I need, which one will be good for me. You take their famous sleep quiz on their website. You tell them your body type, your sleeping position, your back pain issues you might have, and they will pair you with a mattress that will be perfect for you. I took the sleep quiz. The mattress they suggested was exactly what I needed. I often get too hot at night. The mattress keeps me cool. It's not too soft. It's not too firm. The texture is right. And I've just been getting way better sleep. You only buy a mattress every decade or so. Don't get stuck with something that's not perfect for you. And all Helix mattresses come with a 10 year warranty and they'll even come to your house and pick it up within 100 days if you don't love it. But I think you will. All of my viewers will get up to two hundred dollars off your order and you'll get two super premium pillows for free when you go to the link right underneath this video.